and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel tonight guys and what a very special night it is right here because not only a Barca underway in the Champions League with a really important victory here up against young boys obviously we knew before the game that it was going to be maybe comfortable maybe it was going to be one that we would win by several goals but it was still important tonight that we delivered exactly that. And that's what we did. There was no nonsense. There was no messing around. Robert Lewandowski with two goals. Rafinha, Inigo Martinez. And the return of own goal. That's a big moment. It could be a big moment in our season. We've got to talk about that. And also tonight, guys, the most crazy thing of all... I got both predictions right. I have actually predicted the scorer and the winning margin. I mean, miracles are happening right here on the channel. And all of you are present for it. So we're going to be talking all about the game. Let's do this. And well, speaking tonight, guys, of predictions here, I've got an absolutely fantastic super thanks coming in from Kenneth. Big supporter he is on the channel from Nigeria. And he was thinking before the game that could Lewandowski score a hat-trick and could Barca win 6 Neil. Now, he didn't quite go with that in the end, and it didn't quite happen. But you are not far away, Kenna. Thank you for the support. Because honestly, guys, the good news started before kickoff even happened. Because right here in attendance today inside of the stadium, it's going to be our brand new goalkeeper signing, Wojciech Szczesny there. He took his seat in the crowd. He also met a few of the injured Barcelona players around him. Really nice to see him there already getting to know his teammates to be. He has completed his medical at Barca now and is signing and the announcement is indeed imminent. Chesney is on his way and I'm sure he would have been impressed by what he saw on display today. And I've got to say right here guys, from the starting lineup here from Hansi Flick, it was very, very clear early on. We are taking this very seriously. We know that we lost at the weekend. We know that was a bump in the row. We know there that our confidence could have taken a hit. But again, there was no evidence of that. It was simply a case here. Move on. Start the game strongly. We've got all of our best players out there. Ferran was the other player who started there on the left-hand side for Barca. That was the one that we were sort of looking at, not knowing who was going to start. But... I've got to give some special shout outs here. Rafinha, he was absolutely perfect from the moment go today because what he did, he set the tone. And we've seen him do this right the way through the season. But he had the captain's armband tonight and he made sure that from that very first minute, we are all in here. We are making sure that we're not taking young boys lightly. We're going to run for every ball. We're going to battle for every challenge, no matter what. And even when we were miles ahead in the game, he's still there. He's still putting the hard yards in. And if your captain is doing it, you have got to follow. And if Rafinha led the team in terms of his pressing and his work rate tonight... We've got to talk about Pedri's quality because he, for me, he was absolutely magic tonight. Young boys couldn't get near him. They could not get the ball from him there. His close control, his dribbling was absolutely off the scale. And if you look at all the goals whilst he was on the field, he's involved in every single one of them there. He's making the team tick. He's making things happen. He's such a big part of everything we do in the final third. And that is why, as the game went on, Hansi Flick had to rest him a little bit because he's so good, so influential. And Pedri tonight at his absolute best. What a performance from him. And I do feel as though, guys, I know he didn't get his goal tonight, La Mina Mal, but it would be a disservice not to specially mention him too, because I know that we who tune into Barca every single week, we're used to this now from Yamal. We're used to the quality there, the unbelievable technique in one versus one situation. The dribbles that he was pulling off tonight were absolutely obscene. But we still have to mention it, because even though he does do it on a regular basis, these are the kinds of performances that we see from him regularly now, it's still extraordinary. It is still jaw-dropping at times, what he's able to do, what he's able to conjure up with the ball. It is incredible, and he makes every single Barca game just that much more enjoyable. Even tonight, obviously, we scored lots of goals, we're going to talk about them, and brilliant goals they were. But he just puts that icing on the cake. He is a joy to watch at all times. Great again from your Yamal. And of course, it didn't take us long in the game at all because of that fast start, because of that positive outlook for us to get on the score sheet there. Eight minutes gone. The build-up play from Barca, it's spectacular. It is absolutely perfect movement and passing there in and around the penalty area. Rafinha gets it there in a dangerous area. But it's the pass. It's an absolutely brilliant ball there that he actually plays blind. He doesn't look at where he's playing the ball, but he knows exactly what he's doing. He puts it into the perfect area right in front of goal, and he knows 
that Lewandowski is going to be arriving. He knows that in a game like this, in a moment like this against a team that was sitting very, very deep, Lewandowski is going to take up those really clever positions inside of the area, and it's 1-0. Before young boys knew it, Barca were on the score sheet, and it did take us a little bit of time to break them down again, to wear them down. Barca were moving the ball a little bit slowly in periods of that first half, but then there came a point where it was like we flipped a switch. Towards the end of that first half there, the passing, it accelerated. We were moving the ball so, so quickly. And suddenly, everybody got going. You know, those brilliant combinations that we were seeing. Lovely, lovely football. And the second goal there, again, it's all about Pedri here. Inside of the box, having such quick feet. He shifts the ball so beautifully there with a the back heel. Gets his shot away. Would have been going in, I think. But the defender there gets a great, great block on it. But who is there to make sure that it's blasted home? It is Rafinha to make it 2-0 to Barca. And from that that moment on then, 2-0 up, you know you're cruising, you know you're comfortable, you know you're probably going to win the game, but that's the beauty of it here. Barca didn't give up, they didn't just think, oh, well, that's enough, you know, we'll just saunter our way to the full-time whistle. We kept on going, more and more goals incoming, and I was so glad to see Inigo Martinez score the third. I really was, guys, that made my day there, because he's been so good this season, so consistent for us, and for him tonight there, again, it's a Pedri cross, again, Pedri's at the heart of it, whips it in there, it's an outswinging ball, lofted up into the air, Inigo Martinez. Martinez rising highest there to head it home. It's his first ever Barcelona goal and it's his first ever goal in his career in European football. So lovely, lovely moment for him there. You can see in the celebration, big smile on his face. He really, really enjoyed that one and so that he should have because then in the second half, guys, we started in exactly the same way that we ended the first and Inigo very nearly got another one. I thought he was going to make it two on the night for him like London buses. You wait around forever for one to come and then suddenly two arrive at once. But in the end, it's Lewandowski there that just about takes it from him. I think he makes sure that it goes over the line. And Lewandowski getting two goals on the night. He was looking for that hat-trick goal, wasn't he? He really, really wanted it. But again, Lewandowski, guys, coming up clutch in this match for me, getting that first goal. Thank you, thank you, Robert. But of course then, on the 60th minute mark, I think we were all waiting, weren't we? When are we going to see Ansu Fati? When is he going to get on the field finally? And he did, because Pedri did indeed get some rest. Pau Kubasi as well coming off. Hector Fort as well coming on. I thought those two coming on was a nice change there from Hansi Flick to give them both minutes. They've both been working really, really hard in training. They haven't really got as many minutes, of course, as everybody else in the squad. So nice to bring them on today to get some minutes under their belt. And Ansu Fati there, he was looking to get involved. You know, he's looking to be live, looking to get on the ball and make runs. But I think it is going to take time here for everything just to click together. Because he actually played in several different attacking positions there just after coming on in this game. Because initially, I think Flick was just saying there, go and play to everyone there on the field. I think he had Casado as the only holding midfield player there for a period in that second half and everybody else had the freedom and the license to go forward, to make runs, to interchange positions, but it didn't quite click there in those latter stages of the games. There was lots of run, there was lots of energy there in amongst the attacking zones, but we couldn't really sustain any of that pressure and get another goal in that moment, but then we had the return of Frank de Jong and again that's another fantastic moment for us tonight guys. It's not just about the win, not just about the five goals here, but getting Ansu to come on, getting Frankie de Jong back on the pitch, that is absolutely fantastic news. But in doing that, we had to take off Lamine Yamal and indeed Lewandowski. Both of those there getting some rest towards the end of the game. And I've got to say, neither of them looked too happy, especially Lewandowski. I think he wanted to stay out there and get his hat-trick goal. But look, Flick said to him, I'm the boss here. I'm the coach. I'm going to make the big calls. And Rafinha then went over to the right wing. Pau Victor actually played sort of just in behind Ferran Torres there. Ferran playing the full 90 minutes yet again in this game. And we did have a little bit more structure there in these final moments of the game, but we have to come on guys to the fifth goal, because this for me genuinely, not even messing around here it's important to have these kinds of moments, Balde with the cross and it's an own goal now in the very best Barcelona teams that I remember, the best seasons that we've had as a club there's always been a few own goals dotted around in there. Now, he's not a player that you want to overly rely on. He's not a player that's always going to bail you out. But if own goal can pop up a few times a season, we'll all be happy. And I truly believe we will all have a good season. So I am glad here that he is struck in the Champions League. I am seeing this as a genuine sign 
that something's happening here for us because it was important there to get the fifth goal and even at the end young boys had one disallowed I was happy as well that we were able to get the clean sheet tonight too but all that I'm hoping is they're looking at those latter stages is that Inigo Martinez that he is all okay actually because in the very final moments of the game there he was actually subbed off young Cuenca came on to make his debut another player here who's got an opportunity youngster coming through with the first team absolutely fantastic to see but Inigo went off and on the bench there he was sort of holding his back speaking with those around him with a bit of concern so I really hope that he's going to be all okay for the weekend because he has emerged guys hasn't he you've got to say here into a really key player for us this season so dependable so important we saw that when we were missing him at the weekend against Osasuna Inigo tonight scoring could have had a second goal another really really impressive performance and like I say hopefully he's all okay because we have all really really appreciated what he's been able to do for the team this season guys but let me know what did you make tonight of the 5-0 win obviously young boys they were there for the taking they're not a team that are in form right now we knew that coming into this game it was one that we were obviously expected to win and comfortably and we did but that's important you can only beat what's in front of you you can only here do the damage against the teams you come up against we got the win that we needed we got the five goals here in our favor and let me know in the comments down below what you are feeling what your reaction is to this win and ahead of Saturday's important game now in La Liga against Alaves guys we're going to be talking lots lots more with all of the build-up to come throughout this week I hope you enjoyed the win we are finally underway in the Champions League guys I will see all of you soon thank you for the great support but until next time as always Vishka Yelbasa. Uh...